Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Nathan Cudgel here. Now, I have a fun story today. A story I think everyone will enjoy. Women, children, minorities. This is a story. It's the Schnidler. It's the Schnidler's list of news stories. Could have picked any movie. I picked the say Schnidler, Schnidler's list. Gloucester, England. As we know, all the best stories come out of England. A bomb disposal team was called to an English hospital Wednesday morning after a man arrived with an, with an unexploded World War II mortar stuck in his rectum. That is the most British thing I've ever heard. The only thing that can make it more British is if he was sipping tea as he played with himself with an unexploded World War, World War II mortar. I'm sorry if I'm laughing a lot in this video. This is legitimately one of the funniest stories. I Maybe the funniest story I've ever done. The patient was a military enthusiast and had the round as part of a private collection. He said he put it on the floor, then he slipped and fell on it. Sure you did. Sure. I'm pretty sure that's the reaction he got when he showed up to the hospital like that. So, uh, listen, I was making some tea, right? And, uh, well, I, I slipped, right? Yes, and? Well, I, uh, I landed on a, uh, object. Another Moby Huge patient, I see. It's a bomb. What makes the story even better, though, is the hospital then called the Bomb Squad. The Bomb Squad from the 11th Explosive Ordnance Disposal Regiment was called in to retrieve the device. The item has been removed prior to police arrival and the Army's Explosive Ordnance Disposal team were contacted. Hospital staff were able to remove the mortar from the patient's rectum before uh, the Bomb Squad got there. Though still, can you just imagine, first off, the embarrassment of, of having, well, a bomb stuck up your ass. You know, I've heard of people saying their ass is the bomb, but saying a bomb's in their ass, that's two very different things. But to make it worse, then the whole bomb squad just comes running in. <laughs> now the bomb squad did confirm the round was not live and not a danger to the public. They also identified the round as a 57mm World War II shot fired from anti-tank guns. I hadn't looked up before this what the shell looked like. This is so much bigger than I was imagining. That is like scarily huge to imagine in someone's, well, a rectum. I honestly, can something that big really fit up there? I wish there was more I could tell you of this story, but that's where it ends. How the military enthusiast is doing now, if his rectum has gone back to normal size, if he's ever gonna do this again, these questions remain unanswered. At least until another news article gets posted next year. Hopefully by that time he will have uh, gained enough mastery over this art form where he can fit two of his rectum before they get stuck. Can you just imagine the factory worker during World War II who built that round? Oh, I saving my country, I am. Well, he, he served his country in a way. <sighs> I think we can all take a deep breath out after that story. Just like that guy did after they pulled it out of his ass. Thank you so much for watching this video. <sighs> I feel we've all grown today. And not in that way. Well, maybe in that way. That was a disgusting joke. If you laughed at that, I think we could be friends. But I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. And uh, yeah, be, uh, be safe out there, guys. Don't shove from World War II 57mm anti-take round up your ass. Or at least try not to. Bye.